Hi everyone, here we are in Kew Gardens where Mr. Sonny and I just spent a really fantastic afternoon. I'm going to show you a little bit of some of the highlights that we saw today. Stick around to the end when I give you a few tips on what you should see and do if you have time to visit Kew Gardens while you're in London. <music> Sonny and I spent about two and a half hours walking around Kew Gardens and I don't even think we saw half of it. I suggest before you go you look at a map and outline a list of things that you would like to do. I was very grateful that we did this because then we were able to prioritize once we arrived. We saw everything we wanted to except Kew Palace and the Royal Kitchens. Make sure you watch until the end of the video where I give you two trips that'll make sure you're not disappointed on your trip to Kew Gardens. The top things I suggest that you do are explore the treetop walkway. You can't be afraid of heights and the walkway is a little wobbly, but the views at the top are spectacular. <laughs> Next, you want to stand inside the hive, which is an immersive sound and visual experience. The lights you see and the sounds you hear inside are triggered by bee activity in a real beehive at Q. Also, you want to be a little cocky. Peacocky, that is. Mr. Sonny and I had a lot of fun filming these gorgeous birds while we visited. We saw quite a few peacocks roaming through the gardens, so hopefully you will too. As a girl who grew up in Florida, the Palm House wasn't the most alluring attraction. However, it is the most recognizable building at Kew. It's also one of the world's most notable Victorian glass and iron structures. The Palm House features a rainforest climate. This reminded me exactly of an August day in Florida where you walk outside and you're immediately hit by all the humidity with this really hot sticky vapor girls as a side tip don't go in the palm house if you're worried about your hair immediately frizzing because that's exactly what will happen when you walk in pin like or share this video if you found it valuable also if you're visiting london and you want to know ahead of time about things to do that are fun and extra travel tips make sure you subscribe to the sunny news Finally, if visiting the pagoda at Kew Gardens is on your list, you want to make sure you listen to this. The 10-story structure completed in 1762 is undergoing a restoration until 2018. It is one of Kew's landmark buildings, but you can't see much of it now. For more tips about visiting Kew Gardens, click the link below that'll take you to my website. I have a video of the 10 best things to do in Hyde Park. Most of them are free and it's in central London. As always, thank you for watching.